Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at the Warhammer Age of Sigmar app, the beta version. So today saw the Warhammer Age of Sigmar app with the Stormforge Army list building tool available for free as the beta version. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the app, work through it, and take a look together at the features that it includes and hopefully that'll give you a good idea if it's something that can help you in your game but it is going to be free to use and explore in this beta version so well worth checking it out and giving it a try. So this app is going to be compatible with both Apple and Android devices and you can download it at the App Store and Google Play and then you log into it with your Warhammer account. Now as this is the beta version you're able to provide them with feedback and there's a survey that you can click through in the Warhammer community article and then just pass on any information through that. So let's go and over to the app now and then I'll register, log in, and then we'll take a look at the contents and see how it works. Right, here we are. So I've logged in and this is what we get. We see the reference, Stormforge and core rules at the bottom. And then I'm in the reference section now looking at the publications. I'm using it on my iPad, so I've got it as a landscape mode but if you did it in portrait on your phone it's going to work a lot better if you're in landscape and you need to go back you have to flip it back to portrait and just flick down to be able to do that which i'll show you in a second but here in the publications you can see we've got the broken realms and then we've got all our battle tomes for chaos death destruction and order we've even got the general's handbook pitch battles and the monstrous arcanum in there as well and then at the bottom the Age of Sigmar core books. So you'll have all the rules included in this. Not the whole book, but the rules. And then you'll also get Wrath of the Ever Chosen as well. So let's have a look at one of the battle tomes and let's go with something that I think a lot of people will be interested in, which is the Auric War Clans. And here we can see we've got War Scrolls, Battle Traits, Command Traits, Artifacts of Power, Spell Laws, all this stuff. Now some of this you're gonna have to have the code from the battle tome itself to unlock. But the War Scrolls, anyone can go and see. So this is really good, I think. You've got all the War Scrolls here, and you've got this for every battle tome. So these are all available for free on this app right now. Once you have to pay the subscription, then you'll be able to access it through that. But let's have a look um, who we got. Let's have a look at Gobsprack. I made a video for him earlier today, and so this is great to see the War Scroll. So it's got all the information, as you would expect, and all the stats, and then at the bottom, all the abilities and the keywords right at the bottom, lots going on here. So there we go. So all the information there as you would find in the book and on the cards themselves. And as you can see, tons and tons of models that you can use there. So this is really great actually. So this is fun to look through. If you're new to Age of Sigma like me, then you can go in and have a look at the different war scrolls and the different units and leaders. And then you can decide if you wanted to get the battle tone maybe and um, buy it like afterwards. So you don't have to buy it up front to have access to this, which I think is really good. So then we can go back with these arrows at the moment, and then we can look at say battle traits. And then if we go into big war battle traits, you'll see these are locked. So this is where you need the code from the battle tome. So let's come back uh, into the Warwick clans. Then we go down here and we've got pitch battle profiles. And now this shows us the unit size and the cost. And so for all the war scrolls, we can use that and this is our reference. And so this can give us a good idea of how we might want to put together an army based on those war scrolls. And then we can have a look and see how much the points they go for, or how many models we need and get a good idea of how to put together an army of models to get started with. Now, a lot of the other things are locked and so you're not gonna be able to get those without that code. So that's a good look at the battle tome using the Auric War Clans as our example. Let's take a quick look at the Age of Sigmar core book, because there's a bit of information in here that are separate to the rules. So you've got like here, Universal Triumphs. So there's three listed there. Then you've got Grand Strategies, and you've got Core Battalions. And here it says you can include any of the following Core Battalions in your army if the battle pack you're using says that you can use Core Battalions. And so it just talks you through those. So there we go, that information's included there. Now, if you wanna look at the rules, that's gonna be over to the right and we click on core rules. And here we're gonna see we've got core rules and designers commentary. And so we've got the commentary there going down for all the battle tomes as well as the book. So if we go into the Age of Sigmar core rules, 
you can see here it's got the first one, core concepts, and then if we click on table of contents at the bottom, it opens up all of the rules. So you can see everything, you can click on that. Let's have a look at Pylin, for example, and then that's gonna tell you about Pylin. Then you can just keep going, next, work your way through it, next, like that. So I guess if you're in a game and wanna find it quick, it's not gonna take that long at all, so you can go straight to it. So that's really good. We come back, and as we scroll down, we're back to the beginning there. So that's the core rules. So now let's look at Stormforge, and this is where you build your army. So to build your first army, tap the plus icon below, let's do it. And then we can give it a name. So I'll, I'm just gonna be boring for a minute. Cool boys, optional, anything you like, you can type in there. And then once you've done that, you can choose your army faction. And so let's stick with the Auric War Clans here. And then the army type is gonna be Cruel Boys. And then choose sub faction. I'm going with Skull Bugs. Let's do that. And then we keep going. We're gonna go with choose a battle pack. So I'm gonna go with Contest of Generals. And then choose points limit. Let's stick with a thousand and then create an army. And then all we do then is click on the Auric War Clans on the left, and then we can add a unit by tapping the plus icon below, or we can add a battalion and place units directly into it if we use the battalions tab. So I'll just show you the battalions tab. And so you just add a battalion. So there we go, we can choose one. So you select your battalion, and then you add the fighters to that. So that's one option, but I'm just gonna go with the simple one now and I need to come back. And here I have to spin it round to portrait mode, flick that page down and then we're back and then go to all units. I'm just gonna simply add a thousand points worth of, of units and a leader just to show you how it works. So here we go. So if I wanna go with a leader, I want Gobsprack, he'll be 300 points. So add him in, he's added already. So that's nice and easy. Let's put in a killer boss, maybe for a, with a stab grot. Some great options here. You can have Kragnos, a loon boss. So some really cool options there. I've got a loon boss on giant cave squig for Warcry. So it'd be great to add him in with my um, cruel boys. That'd be awesome. So really happy with this. Merc knob with Belcher banner. It's got to be done. And then as we go down, let's see if we can find some gut rippers. Nice. Let's add two of those maybe. And then let's top it off with a beast skewer killbo. And then that's going to get us nice and close. I'm just going to turn it again so that I can go back. But I think if you had it in portrait all the time, you know, it's going to be really easy to go back and forth, no problem. So now we can see all the units I've added and our points. So really cool. And that's pretty much it. So you've got all your units added now. Then if you want to place one of these in a battalion, so you go with Gobsprack and then you'll click on the three black circles and it's got an option to place in battalion or delete, but you do or cancel, but you do have to choose the battalion before you can do that. And then finally, if you click on the little icon in the top right hand corner, that file icon, that's gonna take you to the export list where you can copy it to clipboard or share. And then that's got all the information that you put in and all the ones you added. So there we go, it's got their battlefield role, the points cost and all your different units listed. Okay, so another thing we can do is click on Gobsprack and say we wanna give him a spell, we can click his name and as we scroll down, it tells us the unit size, total models, unit option. We can make him a general, so that's one of the options. So let's do that. And we can also give him an enhancement where we can choose one spell. So if we click that, these are locked again because we don't have that battle tome code. But if we choose the spell, it's selected it for him, but we don't know what it is until we unlock it. And then we confirm. And then if we go up to the top right, you see there's a little icon there. It looks a bit like a file, but when we click it, it's going to open the war scroll and this gives us all the information that we saw previously on his war scroll. So now we go back to Gobsprack and that's put all his information in there. So that pretty much sums up everything that's included in the app in this beta version. Some things are locked, some things are available to you, but I think having all those war scrolls from all the different battle tomes included, I think is really nice feature to have. So that's really great. And I think that Stormforge is pretty good as well. So combining those two things, I think it's a really good way to just play around with it, see what kind of army you'd like to build, what units are available for it, and have a look in detail at those war scrolls without spending any money. So that's, I think, is the main thing with that. Although you will have to subscribe to this at one point or grab the Warhammer uh, Plus subscription to have access to it or once they go out of this beta version. I'll put a link in the description below to the Warhammer community site article where you can find out all the information about this app 
and links to the App Store and Google Play and things like that. But as you can see, as we scroll down here, it says that once Warhammer Age of Sigmar the app has been released in full, all of its premium features will be included in your Warhammer Plus subscription. And you're going to get access to the app for both Age of Sigmar and Warhammer 40,000 on top of everything else that comes with Warhammer TV. So I think if you play both games, Warhammer TV is all of a sudden really good value. And uh, you also get that model as well, don't forget. So it could be actually quite good if you play those games. So I haven't done my review on it yet. I'm kind of waiting another week, I think, to give it not just the updates that came out today, but next week's updates as well. Then I've given it a full month, which I think is fair, and then I'll be doing my review. But this has really added to it, I think. Having this Age of Sigmar app is really good. And the more I'm getting into Kill Team, now I'm being drawn to 40,000. I'm probably not going to play it, but I think having that app, if you do play it, makes Warhammer TV quite uh, affordable now and almost a good deal, I think. So yeah, could be good with these two apps now. So I think this is a good move where Games Workshop are concerned. I'd love to hear what you think about this app, especially if you've been playing Age of Sigmar for a while and you're familiar with how it all works. It'd be great to hear your thoughts and feedback on the app and whether or not you think it's going to be good value as part of that Warhammer TV package. Thanks for watching the video. I thought it'd be good fun just to have a look at it together and go through the main features, but the link's in the description if you want to check it out in full. And thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description and it'll be great to see you there.